All new at six, state education officials want all students to return to the classroom this spring and take state's standardized testing in person. But as CBS 4's Joan Murray reports, some families are pushing back. So far, the state is not wavering on having in-person testing, but for thousands of South Florida students and their parents, it's a non-starter. Angie Valentine is a straight A student in ninth grade at Miami Art Studio. She also has asthma. During the pandemic, has done her coursework at home. My child's life is more important than her going into the classroom right now. That's why her mom does not want her to take the required Florida assessments test in person. Some tests are used for grading. Others determine whether you will advance to the next grade. Students aren't learning. The teachers are frustrated. Students are frustrated. And then you want to quiz us on what we've learned this year, which, in my opinion, isn't as much as most past years. You now want to quiz us on this knowledge, have us all come into a school where we know there have been cases. They aren't alone. It's poor timing. I've never believed in this test. Broward Teachers Union President Anna Fusco says she's gotten tons of emails from frightened families. And I implore every single parent out there, don't, don't send your child in to take the test. If you are uncomfortable and you know you don't want your child on campus and you've been keeping them home safe for whatever reason you're doing it, keep to that. Broward is still trying to figure out the logistics of how the test will be administered. While in Miami-Dade, the superintendent said they are taking advantage of the two extra weeks being offered for testing. What we will do during those two weeks is obviously disperse students more, take advantage of after hours assessment as well as Saturday assessment time, taking full advantage of the additional two weeks that this emergency order provides. Jessica Barrett says it's a risk she is not willing to take. We're all asthmatic. So my biggest concern is, you know, what is the testing going to show this year? What is it going to do for the students? In all honesty, I mean, half of these kids are not learning. Some South Florida lawmakers have proposed legislation to prevent these tests from having any consequences. The state isn't saying how these test results will be used. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.